Hello everyone, it's Monica with Presley Girl Creations. I hope you're all having a great start to 2024. I was in my craft room trying to use up some scraps and create some things. And while doing that, I thought, why don't I just create a video and show you guys what I'm up to. So, as you can see, I have started making some uh, little hearts here. Just using some of my fabric scraps, uh, paper scraps, laces, buttons, uh, book pages. So just really playing with what I have. I know Valentine's is around the corner. Of course, I love everything pink, everything hearts. So this is what I was working on. And I just stopped and uh, thought I'd get you guys to join me. So I was working on this green one when I decided to stop. So let me just, uh, may I'll make one with you and just show you a little bit of what I'm using. Let me get my, this is what I use when I glue. It's just some old catalogs. So I had a lot of these book pages from Reader's Digest. I had punched holes and done things with them before. So what I did was I just got out my watercolors and just started playing. I painted a few of them. The ones that are solid, I thought, well, I will use these for my hearts. Because I need to use what I have and I have quite a bit. I need to, to get more creative. I haven't been up here really creating much in a while and thought, well, here we go. So we'll make a yellow one. And what I'm using for the base of the heart are these little cardboard hearts right here. These were actually part of a pack uh, that was really like a note card. You can see where it kind of came together right here and you could open it up. And I just cut them in half and decided they were the perfect size. And so I'll lay this one right here and kind of show you how I decorated this with the book pages. So I have, um, I saw somewhere one time on YouTube where someone was using book pages and they were tearing and collaging with the pages. So that's basically what I did. So I just get the heart, and I really, and it's okay if some of the wording is upside down. I'm just trying to cover it. And I have my glue stick here that I really like. Oops. And I'm just covering, and it's okay if it's upside down. It's okay if it hangs over. Just, and it's okay if it's crooked. And I like to use this as um, a makeup tool from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. So I'll go back and trim this out when the time comes. So let's just see if I can... I kind of don't want to do that. I think I might have made my pieces a little big here. Let's just do it like this. Let's go there. So I hope everyone's staying warm. It's super windy here. It is sunny, but we've been getting down in the teens. As I know, most of you can feel that. Especially if you're up north, I see a lot of snow and ice going on. We've not had any snow in my area, but, um, and you'll see right here, I'm sorry, I kind of had a, a freeze. I want the ruffled part, so I don't want a straight line, so to speak, so I want the little roughly part to stick up right there just so you know how I'm doing this and tearing it and 
again, it's okay if it's upside down. I mean, it just really gives it texture and character. But yeah, we've not had any snow. Just a lot of wind, a lot of rain. And um, my husband said the other day he's <laughs> he's ready for spring. And uh, I don't even feel like it's really been winter here yet. So I'm not a fan of the cold, cold. But I do want a little bit more uh, wintry weather. So I think you guys can get the gist of what I'm doing here. Just using these pages. I keep pulling it up. I want to make sure it's not super sticking right there. Let's do... Let's do this. I just want to make sure that the brown is covered. I see it like um, sticking up around the edges. I might put a little extra glue. So like I know right here, probably could use a little glue. Keep it staying centered for you guys. Yes, I haven't done a video in a while, and truth be told, I've not really been able to be, holidays were really busy, a lot of family helps, um, just family life, and so it's not been a super priority to be up in my craft room, even though I have totally missed it. tremendously I haven't been able to do a video I'm hoping 2024 is gonna get my crafting back on because I do miss it I like doing the videos if it helps anyone just you know there's so many of them out there but I I don't I just feel like it keeps me on task. It helps me try to be more creative. I've made some great friends. I enjoy doing it. All right. So there you go. Doesn't look much like a heart, does it? <laughs> I'll save some of the larger scraps for collaging. So now that I have my heart, I'm going to go through here and just trim around it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You could probably leave some of it hanging over and scuff it up a little bit. I am going to ink the outer edge because I just, I like that definition. You could put these in journals because you can clearly see you can write on the back of these. I think I'm going to stamp a little sentiment on the back that I have about love. Um, I enjoy making banners, so this size, you know, you could clip it to some jute or ribbon, hang it up in your craft room. I mean, hearts are all year to me. Now, um, on the rest of these, I have sewed around, not very good, I'm afraid, especially on this one. Um... So, you know, it's just a personal preference. I won't sew this one just because I don't want this video to be really long. And 
I just wanted to give you an idea of something you could do with your scraps. I mean, if you have any type of construction paper, you could just draw a heart and use it as a template and create these. You know, I wanted it on this because it's sturdy. So let me sit here and put a little ink on it. Again, I have so many book pages and scraps, and they just, I don't know, they just get overwhelming. So I'm trying to utilize as much of it as I can. And the kind of paint that I did, guys, is just watercolor paint. So I just have a palette. I just watercolored these. Uh, I, this has the pearlesque uh, paint. And some of them I just use the plain. So you don't have to uh, sew unless you just want to. All right. So next, what I'm doing is I want to put a hole right here. And I have the big bite. I've had this a long time. Love it. I'm just going to eyeball. I want to have my little hole near the top in the center, but I'm just eyeballing it. I didn't, I don't, I don't do a lot in the way of measuring with like precise amounts. I just kind of go with the flow. So next I'm going to put an eyelet in there. This is where I keep all my little eyelets. It's yellow, so I may, I don't know if this yellow is... What I have right here is too dark. I have a lot of the yellow. I think it'll be okay. So let's just put that in there. You don't have to put an eyelet. You don't have to punch a hole. It's just what I prefer. I like it to be reinforced. All right. So next, I make these dangles. If you've watched any of my videos, you can hear me talk about these, or I've showed you these, and it's just scraps. It's just scraps I've embossed. Maybe I, I think this was a collage and scrap fabrics. Some of them are embossed, some of them aren't. And so I have multicolors. I didn't create this one. For this, I just happen to have that color. So these little dangles come in handy. They go with a lot. I love them. I enjoy making them. So you can see um, it's just a matter of, of different size scraps and cutting those up. Now I have some fabric or lace trim that I got at a thrift store here. I'm going to use it. Again, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing the size I want. I feel like this is the prettier side. I don't want it to be super big, but I don't want it to be too small. So that is going to go right here. Now what I've done is, let me see, I have a button somewhere. Let's see if that one will look good. This one may be too big. It's bigger than the others. Let's go with this one. That one will work. I already have some thread here, so I'm just going to quickly try to sew this little button. Now, some people might prefer to have the lace behind the heart, like this, but I want to cover this up, so I'm doing it in front. So let's see if I can just quickly... Get this cute little button here. Just a matter of feeling it out and trying to get it started. I'm 
have I, I have pink it's okay it doesn't matter what color or thread everything doesn't have to be matchy matchy that's what makes this hobby for me great the more unique the more individual the better come along okay just takes me a minute to get it going it won't be super pretty on the back I'm sure some of you people who are, are big sewers are cringing as I'm doing this but you know I just want to get a couple in here and I'm trying to think of how I can use my buttons it's being a little trickier than I want it to be of course when you go on camera and you start trying to show a tutorial that's when uh, it wants to not cooperate right I'm afraid of sticking my finger truth be told <laughs> I know uh, I can't use a thimble I've tried they don't like me Okay, let's see if that's good enough. Okay, just a couple. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then all I'm going to do on the back is kind of just weave through there. Create a knot a little bit. times so if you put these in a journal people could still write on the back you could create a little pocket on the back and um, again I'm thinking of using mine for a banner I like to hang during you know different holidays All right, that's good enough. Okay, so I have my little hole. I have my paper scrap dangle on both of these. So we'll just work on both of them. Now this right here is a little piece of fabric I got from a skirt I had purchased in the children's section of a thrift store a long time ago. And I'm trying to use it on all of my hearts because I just like the gold. I like the little speckling. And since some of them I rotate them. So this one I'm going to put on this side just because I don't want them all on the same side. Okay, and I'll trim it so I just want to get it in there now it's been chilly in my craft room so some of my glue is being a little bit difficult I'm afraid to come out this is Fabri-Tac if anyone's curious I'm just wanting a little bit on here Okay, so I think I'm going to put a little bit more right here.
And I'm okay with some of it hanging off. I kind of like it to be out there. Now, I also have at the bottom of these this little bit of trim. And this came off of um, some clothing as well. And I'm just putting these at the bottom because they have kind of a pre-made point. And um, I like the lace and the tatting look it has. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. See how cold my glue is, but it still sticks. I mean, it's really not super cold, but I guess it gets cold up here at night in the craft room. Even though it's upstairs, I keep my temperature or my thermostat pretty low. I sleep better when it's chillier. glue wants to blob out there. You see that? I don't know if that's going to. Yeah, this is real life, y'all. This is what crafting is. <laughs> okay. Get some of this glue off my hands. So I put that at the bottom, okay? Now I have a scarf um, that I have been cutting up on. If you've seen my video on my fabric and where I get some of my fabric pieces, this is a scarf. And you see all these little cute intricate pieces? This is what I've been using um, on here. See if I can grab it here without it knocking everything else off. I will use some of this on here. I do want, I thought I had a little piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me drink some water, guys. All of this, um, heat running and being in and out of the weather has been kind of a pain to keep up with not wanting to cough or anywho I'm looking for a particular piece I had cut some off but I've misplaced it obviously again once you're on the camera you're up here crafting away you don't think anything of it but I was using these little dots from the scarf down at the bottom I still want to do that so I'm just cutting a couple of these and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom and stick it right in that little bit of a opening that this piece has right here. Everybody see that? It just gives it a little bling. If you know me, I love simplicity, but, but I also love bling. So the scarf, I have also used other pieces. You can see where I've cut it up. So many different designs on here. I mean, I guess I could put just a solid piece like that. It's kind of pretty. We'll cut one of these just because I can. Um, but you'll see on the ones I've done. 
see how they have. I, I like having a couple of different pieces. I tend to prefer the see-through. So we'll lay that there. Let's see what else we have. Um, let's see. It's just so pretty. Isn't this scarf gorgeous? I, I wouldn't wear it. But um, I got it at a thrift store and hand washed it and dried it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use some pieces from this. Just cut this piece off and see. I put something there which I love then I want something smaller over here with the gold and you can use paper you know you don't have to use fabric you can use whatever you want it's just I'm trying to utilize more of what I have than I've been using. I definitely don't need to add to what I have. Cut this right here. I'm not sure how much of this I want to use. I just love how sheer it is. I like the colors. I don't want to not see some of that. I think I'm going to cut this one off. So even though the background pages are a little different in color, I can change up the color with my dangles. And then um, I kind of like that. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. And so it gives it some variety. So there's some similarities as far as, you know, the blingage I'm putting on here from the fabric. It's kind of the same. Some of the lace is some of the same. But they all have a little color variations, but they're still in the same family of look, if that makes sense. Okay. And see, even though the words are upside down, it's not going to matter. And there's just enough bling there to keep me happy. It's probably more bling. <laughs> More bling than some of you probably prefer, but I love it. I'm a glitter, sequin, sparkle. I have, I probably should do an update on my craft room. It's expanded a little bit and I've reorged and decorated a little bit differently. I have a sewing space outside of here that I've created in a separate area. And uh, I like my sparkle. You'll see it in my room. Okay. Feel like my little button there. See my loosey goosey. I'll probably go in there and put some more stitching on that. Okay, so there's my yellow one, right? I like it. What do you guys think? There's the yellow. And now I have to put a couple of pieces on the green, and then we'll be done. I have some other projects I'm working on. 
you'll see more of coming up on my Instagram account announcing any projects I'm working on and if it has a video. Okay, so we all want our smaller piece on that side, but what do we want over here? Do we want more drama? I don't think so. I think that might work. So when you go thrifting or you need fabric, look at scarves, look at children's clothing. Again, my video on, you know, if you need fabric, if you want blingy stuff, if you want lace, embroidery, I mean, you can find it in, uh, I find it more so in the children's clothing, but I found some in adult clothing too, which... You know, I don't want to pay a lot of money to cut it up. There's a lot of fabric and cool um, embellishments to be had at a discounted price versus going to a fabric store, spending a lot of money. I get a lot of mine from clothing, buttons beads, sequins, prints, flower prints. I mean, that's just a lot of good good things to get those from. Okay, let's see if I can get this on here the way I want it. Okay. So I just need a little piece here. Here's that leaf from the other heart we were working on. I cut that off. Let's just put that there. Feel this little piece coming up. So let's stick, let's just stick it down there. So I would just challenge you to just start pulling some stuff out. See what you have beads, buttons, uh, you know, paper clips, safety pins, scraps of paper, book pages, and just start using some things and collaging or Coming up with some cool ideas. This is my little idea and project for right now. I'm going to make a few more. I'm not going to do them on video, but just so you guys will have an idea of, you know, how I'm pulling it together. If I don't drag everything over here off my desk in the way. see what I have done. So I have about one, two, three, four more to make. Eight will be good. So I'll do four more in various colors. And there you go. All right. I hope you didn't find the video too boring. But I did want to just show you that I am in the craft room working. I will have more videos hopefully coming out in the near future. So comment, like, subscribe. Find me on Instagram. I'm Presley Girl Creations. And I hope everyone has a safe, warm um, weekend. Because I know this is Thursday for me. I won't be uh, posting before the weekend. So just pray everyone stays safe and warm. And has a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.